Now, Liam Halligan, you've been following the markets as that statement was made. What's happened? The immediate market response seems to be quite positive, not overwhelmingly, because um, a lot of the stuff's been, frankly, leaking out via social media all morning. What I would say is this. Why did Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng want the energy price cap to last two years in the first place? Because it takes a long time to find alternative energy sources. It takes a long time to get new nuclear plant up and running or to encourage uh, energy companies to exploit more oil and gas in the North Sea. It takes a long time even to arrange for more imports of liquefied nat natural gas from other countries. That's why the energy price cap was for two years. It was kind of a show of force and intent to the Kremlin. And it, you know, geopolitically, you have to say, while we've got some time until April, um, this is a sort of slight surrender, a slight weakening in terms of how we are going to prepare our population and our businesses, our economy as a whole, for an ongoing economic war with Russia. And so that jumps out at me. The other thing that jumps out at me is that an awful lot of small businesses will be really upset by this. They will think that there's been a political parlour game going on between warring factions of the mm -hmm. Conservative Party. And as a result, their freezing of corporation tax at 19% is now going to be 25%. That takes 6% off your margin if you're a small or medium-sized business. And after COVID, for many companies, I'm afraid that could be catastrophic. Mm -hmm.